This is it. It's showtime. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, welcome back to Dre Anywhere the Sports, where I bring you the latest breaking news and major sports stories concerning my favorite teams, the Los Angeles Lakers, Dallas Cowboys, Barcelona Football Club, Chelsea Football Club, Champions of Europe, London is Blue, my home team, Harborview, and of course, Jamaica's National senior teams the reggae boys and reggae girls being that i'm jamaican of course please remember to like share and subscribe to the channel if you haven't clicked that like button make sure you do so on every video big up and welcome back this video is brought to you by Kane rose by keisha if you want to get your hair done in the fort lauderdale south florida west palm beach area even as far as Miami, soft locks, fox locks, sewing, butterfly locks, rope twists, stitch braids, natural styles and more. Not less braids, yes, passion twists also. Cane Rose by Keisha on Instagram. Hit her up. Oh yeah, by the way, that's females only. Males 16 and under. Good evening, good afternoon, good morning, wherever you're listening over the world. Welcome back to Dre Anywhere the Sports. So, in football action today, my reggae boys went into Cameroon and held the World Cup bound Cameroon team by one goal all scoreline. So, a 1 1 draw in Cameroon in front of a sellout fans of 44,000 people plus. Now, Cameroon going into the World Cup is drawn in a group with Brazil, Serbia, and Switzerland. So there's a good chance, apart from Brazil, they can get results from these other teams. And there's a possibility of them advancing to the next round. Now, both teams were playing on demand, given that they weren't playing with their A teams, given the fact that they are playing outside of a FIFA window. However, both teams were on a even par where it's concerned, not playing with a strong squad, but playing with players that are hungry to impress the coach and state their claim in future squad selections. Now, the Jamaica team started in a 4-4-2 formation. They went in goal with, um, I think this is Jamali's weight, first start for the reggae boys. But they went for Jamali Waite, number 13, in goal. Then in front of him was the experienced Damien Lowe, the captain, and Jamai Topi. Right back was Javain Brown. Of course, he's very experienced, has played over the World Cup campaign and also the Nations League. Also plays in MLS. Number 21, Javain Brown. Familiar face, even in the Reggae Boys A team. Left back, um, Ricardo Thomas plays in the Jamaica Premier League, but he has been in and out of the Reggae Boys t squads over the past year or so. Making his debut for the Reggae Boys was MLS standout Justin McMaster. I will say more about him. He was playing at right midfield, then central midfield pairing of the Phoenix defensive midfielder Kevin Lambert, who of course we're familiar with him. He played versus Argentina and also previously for um, Coach Coach Ham Grimson, Coach Grimm. Now Harvey made his debut for the Reggae Boys in this encounter also. And on the left side was um, Jordan Fletcher. So McMaster on the right, Jordan Fletcher on the left. We're in the number 11. Up top was Peter McGregor and withdrawn center attacking midfielder slash center forward was number seven, Lamar Walker. We're all familiar with Lamar Walker throughout the World Cup campaign and also Nations League squads. Um, but this is the first time Lamar has been starting for the Reggae Boys in a long time. On the bench, the Reggae Boys team was surprisingly 
Richard King, a starter during World Cup qualifiers and also during Nations League. He got the bench today, wearing a number six for the Reggae Boys. Um, Stewart, Travante Stewart, Dwayne Atkinson wearing the 14, um, Demario Phillips, number 18, Malik Howell, number 20, Colorado Murray, you guys are familiar with him. Um, he plays for Harborview and he was the MVP of the finals of the Jamaica Premier League last season's end. And of course, Kemar Foster in goal, who has been in and out of Reggae Boy squads over the last year or so. Now, the substitutions took place. Damian Lowe, Richard King. Um, Jamal Topi played the 90 minutes. Jamali Waite played the full 90 minutes. He was outstanding in goal. Um, Jamal Topi picked up a yellow card. I think it was for descent, but Damian Lowe had fouled the player on the edge, actually on the line of the 18-yard box. I think there was a mistake in identity by the referee. However, number 21, Javain Brown, also picked up a yellow card. Um, Ricardo Thomas was replaced by Malik Howell at the uh, right back position at the left back position. Um, you also see uh, saw a switch where Javain Brown went over to the left and Malik Howell um, went at the right back position. Kevin Lambert he played a full ninety minutes. Justin McMaster, the goal scorer, he came off for Demario Phillips. Alwyn Harvey played ninety minutes. Peter McGregor. He came off for Trevante Stewart. Jordan Fletcher was replaced by Colorado Murray of Harborview. And Lamar Walker was replaced by Dwayne Atkinson of Cavaliers. Now, reading further into this fixture, like I said, Cameroon going into the World Cup. Um, the Reggae Boys' next big encounter is Nations League, trying to qualify for the final stages of the Nations League. However, they'll be playing Mexico in a must-win game. Beat Mexico away in Mexico, and then they're on to the next round of the Nations League. Coming into this game, looking at both teams' records, Cameroon lost 1-0 to South Korea in September. Um, they also lost 2-0 to Uzbekistan, um, also in September, FIFA window. Um, Burundi, they lost to them 1-0 in June. And Algeria, they beat, Camer they beat Algeria 2-1. And then they lost to Algeria. And that, that was World Cup qualifier. That was back in March. Now, as far as the reggae boys are concerned, they just came off a 3-love loss. 3-0 loss to World Cup favorites, Argentina. Before that, they played one all draw with Qatar and Mexico and also spanked Suriname by three goals to one. So again, 1-1 one, one draw in Cameroon by the inexperienced Reggae Boys team. Highly local base, and that's a good result in my eyes. And the coach also see it that way. Big up, much love. Now, please remember to like, share, and subscribe to Dre Anywhere That Sports. Tell a friend, tell a friend, to tell a friend or a family member about Dre Anywhere That Sports. And like, share, subscribe. Appreciate all those who have done so. Oh, those who haven't done so yet, just take a time out. It's free. Go ahead, hit the like button, share, subscribe, drop a comment or a thumbs up. Also, I want to take time out to give um, Talawa TV a big shout out there over there in the UK. Big up Crystal, um, doing great coverage over there for the reggae girls and on behalf of the reggae girls too. Number one trendsetter when it comes to that coverage there. Um, she also um, educates us on happenings concerning players that play in the UK and around the world too. Great stuff over there on Talawa TV. So give her a check out people and give her a subscribe too. I like her videos. I also want to give a shout out to my fellow YouTubers. Coach's Desk. Big look. Doing big things over there. Weekend Triple Treat. I'm part of the panelists. Also Reggae Boys Commentary. Trendsetter. Simon Preston. Big up yourself. Doing great things also for TVJ. Fourth official, Rome, big up yourself, man new fan, long time, big up. Also, I am sure sports, Manning's man, big, big Arsenal fan and supporter. 
have a multiple programs over there covering all sports in and around Jamaican community. Now, also, another Arsenal man, Military Guna. Big up yourself. Breaking news all the time concerning the reggae boys and Jamaica's football. Formula Sports, there in Jamaica also, covering football and sports in and around Jamaica. IMAX it, football. Another one, big up yourself, JD, covering sports, English Premier League, local league, concerning and around the reggae boys, big up yourself, IMAX. Ryan LFC, big, big Liverpool fan and supporter over there in Canada. Another Jamaican, of course, big up yourself, always giving us interviews with reggae boys and uh, news stories concerning around the reggae boys football program and team again remember like share subscribe bless up everyone this is dre from dre anywhere the sports until next time i'm out looking forward to it